Okay, folks, here we go. Uh, this is a 12 by 12 canvas, and uh, I'm going to do a red flower on that background. This will be red flower number three. Um, I have uh, two inch tape and uh, big uh, push pins, and I also have, I found the center <laughs> and put a, uh, a big uh, pin through it with a pearl on the top. Nothing but the best, right? Okay. Um, here we go. I got the, the twine done. Now this is different twine. And uh, I got a, a Hobby Lobby. It's called this. And it's uh, five pounds. And uh, it's big, which is what I wanted. But it's uh, three pieces. Uh, three piece twine. And uh, I'm not sure how it's going to work. It's acrylic just like the other one that I tried that did not work. It uh, came apart from the, from the water. So anyway, here we go. Yeah, I can see why they do that. I, need, I should have put this in a, made some up and put it in a cup. And if I had any left over, I could have. Put it in here. Oh, and uh, one thing I uh, I learned is uh, if this is half empty and you're making new stuff enough to fill it up, you pour this in in the uh, new paint so that it's all mixed together at one time instead of taking new color and putting it in this because it may not be the same. Uh, not only same consistency but same color and uh, all that kind of stuff. So good tip. Good tip. And okay, I am definitely having much better luck with this little spatula, I guess it's called. I got it at Hobby Lobby in the baking part, so it has something to do with baking, spreading frosting, and stuff like that. Anyway, it uh, works much better for me. Then the big one, I'm not sure why. Here goes nothing, as I say.
Okay, this is, uh, I'm done. Oh, uh, all right. See you when it's uh, dry, and uh, then I'm going to uh, epoxy this and, uh, and number one. Also, this is the third one. This is Red Flower 3 in a series. Bye. Thank you. Okay, here's number three. Dry on the wall. And uh, I haven't figured what's up on this one yet, so it's not signed. But I like the way it dried. Uh, the uh, the kind of cracks around the, uh, the the pedal parts distinguish the pedals better. Uh, so there's the separation I was hoping for when it dried. So you can actually distinguish the pedals. Anyway, uh, looks pretty good, I think. And uh, so there we go. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment, all that stuff that we all ask for on YouTube because it does uh, make a difference in our ratings and all that kind of stuff with YouTube and where we uh, show up in the overall page and blah, blah, blah. So thank you very much. Bye. Okay, here's uh, my plan. This is uh, red flower number three which goes with this video. I'm going to epoxy it, and then I'm going to epoxy this one, which is red flower number one. Red flower number two is already epoxy, so um, there we go. Anyway, got to mix the epoxy. Okay, all ready. Got my uh, epoxy mixed. And here we go. I taped up this uh, frame so that it'll sit. I have. I seem to have better luck doing that than just uh, putting it on and start on the edges and stuff. I don't know why. Don't care why. Because <laughs> it. <laughs> this seems to work for me. We'll see. I think I've got an awful lot of bubbles. So I'm going to move this around just a little bit. And then I'm going to take a torch, but I'm going to take my heat gun. And it just kind of takes care of all those bubbles just like that. A little safer than using a torch and I had this uh, for when I was doing model cars and stuff to soften up plastic so I could uh, mold the plastic around and do things with the with the plastic on the model cars and uh, my model cars were not uh, conventional model cars I took uh, two or three kits and uh, what we call kit bashing and uh, making them uh, making them into something totally different. I took a NASCAR uh, Thunderbird and turned it into a uh, Ford GT40. 2017 style GT40 that came out fairly close but I kind of learned early on uh, I'm not one of those guys that can do <laughs> do everything to its exact specs and stuff and I was getting called on um, in the beginning when I would go to contests or or display uh, type uh, arenas 
uh, I would get uh, told that uh, those decals didn't go with that car, or I had uh, four lug nuts on uh, uh, rims instead of five that went on that particular car. And so I decided to just quit trying to do it out of the box and uh, do uh, my own thing. And so all my cars are, uh, and motorcycles, <laughs> are uh, not, they're way outside of the box, if you will. And uh, looks like this doesn't want to get, now I also wiped this down, I'm learning a little bit. I wiped this one down with a clean, uh, clean towel, sprayed some alcohol on it to get rid of any oils and all that kind of stuff that I've done. Because these have been dry and hanging on the wall um, for quite a while now. This was done early December. And uh, one, number one, was done in uh, November. So... Okay, I'll leave this alone for just a little bit. Make sure I got everything up against the tape. Okay, that doesn't have any epoxy on it. Let's do this again. I can see them bubbles popping. But you can't get this too close. Because it will cook. It will cook it. Okay, everything feels uh, slick around the edges. Seems to be uh, covering all right. This I also leveled this up. It's pretty level, but I had to push a couple of the pins in on one end uh, to make it more level. And so it's pretty level. Should be uh, sitting sitting pretty good. Okay, I also learned to only do one of these at a time. Don't mix up enough for two. So that was only uh, uh, two ounces of uh, Envirotex uh, light pour-on, high gloss finish. And uh, it has no smell for the most part. Um, when it starts drying, it does uh, give off a, a slight smell that I can uh, tell I'm in the room with it. But other than that, I don't want to tell you, getting old, my depth perception is gone. And I used to have very good depth of, <laughs> this, uh, whatever that stuff is when you can see how far away things are and where you are in the world. <laughs> But uh, depth perception, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to let that sit. Do my underneath, uh, keep the drippies from coming off. And then uh, when I can move this, I will... Uh, do the other one. Do number one. Bye for now. Thanks for watching, this far at least, and uh, 
Hope everything's going well. Happy New Year, all that kind of stuff. Today is uh, January 1st, 2022. <laughs> Got to get used to writing that. Um, anyway, Happy New Year. Hope the rest of the year was fantastic. Better than the last two, for sure. And uh, I'll see you when I do uh, in just a, the next part of this video. Bye. I'm rambling. <laughs> Also, I just put this tent over this. This is, I think, a 14 by 14. Okay, here's a red flower number three. Epoxied. Nice and shiny. Okay, here's uh, red flower number one, ready to epoxy it. And here's uh, red flower number one, epoxied. Uh, they both came out pretty good. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, bye. See you on the next one.